Good evening, and thank you for joining me this evening to do our evening prayer service on Tuesday, March 26th. So I invite you to just relax, to take in a deep breath and prepare yourself to, to worship, to find that peace, that inner peace of knowing that God is present, and to give thanks and glory to our Lord during this most holy of weeks. So take your breath, and we'll begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in praying together the false Hilaron. O oh gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 94. O Lord God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world. Give the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your chosen nation. They murder the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet they say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you dullards among the people. When will you fools understand? He that planted the ear, does he not hear? He that formed the eye, does he not see? He who admonishes the nations, will he not punish? He who teaches all the world, has he no knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts, how like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you instruct, O Lord, whom you teach out of your law. To give them rest in evil days until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his own. For judgment will again be just, and all the true of heart will follow it. Who rose up for me against the wicked? Who took my part against the evildoers? If the Lord had not come to my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your love, O Lord, upheld me. When many cares fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a corrupt tribunal have any part with you, which one frames evil unto law? They conspire against the life of the just and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my rock, the rock of my trust, and the God, the rock of my trust. He will turn their wickedness back upon them and destroy them in their own malice. The Lord our God will destroy them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 8 through 22. We do not want you to be ignorant, brothers and sisters, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death so that we would rely not on ourselves but on God, who raises the dead. He who rescued us from so deadly a peril will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope that he will rescue us again as you also join in helping us by our prayers, so that many may give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the prayers of many. 
Indeed, this is our boast, the testimony of our conscience. We have behaved in the world with holiness and godly sincerity, not by earthly wisdom, but by the grace of God, and all the more toward you. For while we write you nothing other than what you can read and also understand, I hope you will understand until the end, as you have already understood us in part, that on the day of the Lord, Jesus, we are in your boast, even as you are our boast. Since I was sure of this, I wanted to come to you first, so that you might have a double favor. I wanted to visit you on my way to Macedonia and to come back to you from Macedonia and have you send me on to Judea. Was I facilitating when I wanted to do this? Do I make my plans according to ordinary human standards, ready to say yes, yes, and no, no at the same time? As surely as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no, but in him, for the Son of God, Jesus Christ, whom we proclaimed among you, Silvanus and Timothy and I, was not yes and no, but in him it has always been yes. For in him every one of God's promises is a yes. For this reason it is through him that we say the amen to the glory of God. But it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us, who has put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a down payment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in praying together the song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us continue praying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now our suffrages. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord.
the collect of the day. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A collect for the presence of Christ. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope, for we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture in the breaking of bread. Grant us this for the sake of your love. Amen. A prayer for mission. O God, you manifest in your servants the sign of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now please join me in praying our general thanksgiving. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I wish you a peaceful evening.